assuming you have gone through the background tutorials of triangles, let's quickly skim through the basics. Let's say we have a triangle ABC and just by looking at, you should realize that there are six things that we are concerned with. Three sides and three angles. And based on its sides and angles, they are classified into different types. First, we look at classification based on sides. If we have a triangle like this, in which all the sides are equal to each other, then it's called an equilateral triangle. Lateral meaning side and equi meaning equal. Equal sides. Another possibility is when we have a triangle like this, in which just two of its sides are equal to each other. They are called isosceles triangle. And only one case remains in which no two sides are equal. Such triangles are called scalene triangles. That's how triangles are classified based on sides. What about the classification based on angles? If the triangle looks like this, where all angles are less than 90 degrees, it will be called an acute triangle. Remember, all angles less than 90 degrees. If one angle in a triangle is 90 degrees, it will be called a right triangle. And if we have a triangle like this one, in which one angle is greater than 90 degrees, then it's called an obtuse triangle. Questions like, what if two angles are 90 degrees or two angles are more than 90 degrees are not valid. Those two cases are not possible as the sum of the angles of a triangle cannot be more than 180 degrees. But sometimes it gets tricky and we need to make sure we avoid assumptions. We may be given a triangle like this. Though it very much looks like one, it may not be a right triangle. Or this triangle, which seems to have all its sides equal to each other, may not be equilateral. Only if it's explicitly mentioned like this, with a right angle symbol, or with markings which show that all sides are equal, can we know the type of triangle. Otherwise, make sure you remember, do not assume.